this is the Kinanie leather pack that is intended to help the country uh, add value to our hinds and skins and also create employment uh, for people. So it is part of our strategy to industrialize, by utilizing uh, resources to add value to them. They have to create wealth and generate jobs. And then the other one to add with you is uh, effluent treating plant. It's intended to sort out our sea orange problems in this industrial town of Mavoko and the, its environs. So we are here today to inspect the progress in terms of uh, completion of these projects that have kind of delayed because of the COVID uh, uh, problems. We have been treating the machinery delayed from arriving in good time. We are satisfied with the progress they are making now. They are most of the machinery in, in, in situ and they are busy installing. And I'm told the balance of the machinery is the ICs. It's one container that is also about to be made to come. So we are projecting from what we are being told is that by June, the effluent treatment will be ready so that. Uh, we can now be where other developed countries are in terms of treating and recy recycling and re reusing water when you are running industries. So all the environmental challenges that are experienced here because of poor sewerage management this area will be sorted out by this effluent treatment uh, facility. And then of course this industrial park which will also be utilized in the same facility. There is a section that will be utilized to treat water that is coming from the leather uh, tan tanning that is the chemicals that are utilized here will also be sorted out in the same park. So here the target is to not just do the leather but also produce finished leather products, shoes, and it has a capacity of producing 10 million shoes per year. And in our manufacturing and agro processing strategy in the big four, the target was actually to do that, produce 10 million uh, shoes that are produced quality using modern uh, equipment. Uh, so we will be using, reaching that target. And uh, though the, the part was supposed to be finished by end of this month. Uh, because of those delays, not yet uh, there, we are targeting May. But we are satisfied with the work, quality of the work, even though it has not moved us as quickly as we would have expected. But we are excited that uh, finally our livestock products, uh, especially irons and skins that we are now wasting and that prices are very low, will now be rather an industry to support them. So that our farmers, our livestock keepers, our livestock traders, uh, and the entire livestock industry will be impacted by these facilities that we are setting up here. That's why we are very, very, very keen to have it uh, uh, up and running. The next phase, of course, is to look for investors who have the capacity to utilize this facility, bring in money, bring in uh, networks, uh, that buy, you know, buy leather products so that we are able to plug into those local networks. Then we have one class shoes and other leather products being produced from Kenya. Like we have apparel and other clothing being produced in a river that we have seen this, this afternoon. So this is what will be happening with leather. The investors we expect here are investors who have customers across the world. So we want to be global trainer in terms of leather products. 
So it's not just for domestic demand. In fact, the target here is not domestic. The target here is for export market. <laughs>